So, um, this next one is a little funny, but not really. Um, as I said earlier in the show, the shit has hit the fan in Venezuela. Now, I know you think this is something that's been going on for a long time. We've heard a lot of bad news coming out of Venezuela. Uh, supermarket shelves emptied, etc. But, uh, this one comes from Robert. Robert says, People have been saying that Venezuela was in a crisis, but really, no cash. So what? There's not much to buy anyway. Power, only four hours a day. There's not much fresh food to go bad anyway. Work, two days per week. Sounds like a reason to party. Not complain. But now this. Venezuela is out of beer. Now that is a crisis. Let me read this little article to you. Uh, Venezuela's largest beer maker halted the last of its four production plants on Friday in a spat with the government over access to foreign currency threatening a shortage in a nation already hit by severe scarcities of food and other products. Imperius Polar, the largest private company in Venezuela, had warned it would end production on Friday because President Nicolas Maduro's socialist government was refusing to release it dollars to import malted barley under strict exchange controls. Operations at Polar Plant in San Joaquin, which had been its last still in production, were stopped on Friday morning, a company spokeswoman said. With this, activities at the four plants of Polar Brewery are halted, she added. Under leader Amiris Squan, I don't know, Secura, uh, confirmed the halt. A union leader, Amiris Secura, confirmed the halt. Quote, today the morning shift was suspended at the San Joaquin plant. He said that was the last one to be stopped at Pol uh, and Polar's biggest. Polar makes about 80% of the beer consumed in Venezuela. Maduro's government has accused Polar of exaggerating its dollar needs and hoarding products as part of an economic war by the business community. Politicians and the United States aimed at undermining socialism in Venezuela. The OPEC nation is struggling with a recession, soaring consumer prices, and chronic shortages. Officials have said Polar's billionaire president, Lorenzo Mendoza, should spend his own offshore money if he needs dollars. Earlier this week, in an obvious reference to Polar, Maduro threatened to seize any plants halted by private companies and hand them over to workers. Any plant that is shut will be recovered. It is a serious crime against production, he said. Polar is well known in Venezuela for producing the flour to make a beloved nation staple, aparas, a form of cornmeal flatbread. Okay, so... I could rail on socialism here, but why? It's so easy to do. Um, it's the it's America's fault that Venezuela's socialism has failed. That's that's the object. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm actually gonna talk about the problem here, being out of beer. You see, this is why I've told you for a very long time to learn to make your own beer and alcoholic beverages, because when the shit hits the fan, it's as good as money. And I think you're seeing that here, and it is a comfort. For many people, it really is. And whether it's a comfort for you or not doesn't matter. It's currency. What do you think a 12-pack of beer is going to be worth in barter in Venezuela in about three weeks? But Jack, the socialist government is going to seize the plant and hand it over to the workers. Yeah, that's not going to work very well. That's really not. Because the producers, the people that actually get shit done, aren't going to be there to make sure it gets done. I think what you might have is a bunch of drunk in Venezuelans in the brewery uh, smuggling out a bunch of stuff to sell on the black market with no real incentive to bring the production level back up because it's more profitable for them to smuggle out a few cases here and there than to actually fix the problem. And this is the problem with socialism, so we'll just take over. But you don't know how to run a brewery. You don't know how to run a business. And the actual problem is, nobody wants your money. So what the company's saying is, we need dollars, we need dollars to be able to buy, like, barley. Because if we don't have that, we can't make beer. And check it out. Like, we live in the tropics, and this isn't a good place to grow barley. So what can you grow in the tropics? Fruits, apples, etc., ciders, meads, right? This is the way to go down there. So I just think it's interesting that when the shit hits the fan, the beer really does run out. And that might give you an incentive to figure out how to make your own in case the shit hits the fan where you're at. With that, we'll take another one.